Good morning, people watch. I'm at 65, Lisa Boyce. I'm going to give you a verse of scripture out of Zechariah 14, 8. And it says, And it shall be in that day that living water shall go out from Jerusalem, half of them toward the former sea and half of them toward the hinder sea. The hinder sea is the Mediterranean. In the summer, in summer, and in winter, shall it be something's going on right now so let me give you the gospel it's in first corinthians 15 1 through 4 christ shed his blood for all of our sins past present and future was buried and rose again on the third day according to scripture that's how we're saved why we're saved and how we're kept saved through his death burial and resurrection it is grace through faith in christ alone not of ourselves not of works least any man should boast it is grace, something we didn't earn, something we don't deserve, that God gave us only begotten Son, that whosoever believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. How do you come to that? You admit you're a sinner in need of Christ. The moment you put your faith and trust in Christ and his blood, the moment you accept him as Savior, not only are you saved, but you are justified by the blood of Jesus. You are protected by the blood of Jesus. You are rapture ready, which is soon to happen at any time. And you are sealed until the day of redemption, which means you cannot and will not lose your salvation. The Holy Spirit will indwell in you, lead you, guide you, minister to you, encourage you, speak to you, and change you if you let him. So what's going on right now is Putin has put out a statement saying that um, Russia must keep its nuclear forces prepared. So as of right now, he ordered military to begin nuclear weapons drill. Okay? He launches a nuclear... He's just, he just launched a nuclear exercise. So the drill in, involves ballistic and cruise missile launches, according to the president. Now, let me read this statement off of RT, because it's telling. And then I'm going to read something that just came in. Putin has announced the launch of strategic nuclear deterrence exercise. Quote, unquote, exercise. The drill will involve ballistic and cruise missile launches, the leader said today. This is seven days before the, pres the uh, U.S. election. The nuclear triad remains a reliable guarantor. Okay, I'm getting a lot of news coming in. Hold on a minute. The nuclear triad remains a reliable um, guarantor of Russia's security and sovereignty. Putin stressed adding that it also helps maintain nuclear parity and the balance of power in the world. Given the growth of the geopolitical tensions as well as the emergence of new external threats and risk, it is important to have modern strategic forces that are constantly ready for combat use. Russia seeks to maintain its nuclear forces at the necessarily sufficient level, but it does not intend to be dragged into a new arms race. Now, the very last statement here, it says, last month, Putin also suggested updates to Russia's nuclear doctrine. So under the changes, an act of aggression against Russia and its closest ally, Belarus, by any non-nuclear state, including Ukraine, with the participation or support of a nuclear state would be considered, quote unquote, a joint attack that could trigger a nuclear response. Now, I'm getting, I'm getting all kinds of news coming in right now. Um... Russian Defense Minister Belasov said that the training exercises of strategic missile forces are focusing on delivering a massive nuclear strike in response to an enemy nuclear strike. We could see some uh, um, North Korea launches also in the days to come. All this is going to happen before this election. Now, this also came in saying that feds are practicing nuclear 
war evacuation of the U.S. Capitol. Um, so, the U.S. government practiced emergency helicopter evacuations of persons from the U.S. Capitol building with potential nuclear war coming. At least 12 helicopters particip participated in this quote-unquote exercise. Let me, let me point this out to everybody. This is not an exercise. This is not a drill. They know something is about to go down, and they're preparing for it right now. There's no way Russia is going to do all this, and there's no way the United States is going to do all this just because it's a drill. They know something is happening, and they know something is about to happen. But remember, it's seven days before the election. So the cameraman uh, on this video confirms these are community or continuity of government helicopters. That should tell you everything right there. Continuity of government helicopters from local police and from the military. So the government is conducting these exercises because it's now clear that some type of evacuation of elected officials is likely to be necessary in the near future. With Russian nuclear submarines presently off the East Coast, the Gulf Coast, and the West Coast, the situation of U.S. meddling in Russia-Ukraine conflict has now gotten to the point where the U.S. realizes the Russians are not bluffing when they speak about engaging NATO over its interference in the conflict. They said, I did a video on it last night. They said either NATO's going to go or Ukraine's going to go. They're not playing. Such an engagement might result in missiles being fired at D.C. and other U.S. cities. The government is getting ready for war to come here on U.S. soil. A war they have caused. Yes. The members of the United States House of Representatives and the United States Senate are jointly and severely personally responsible for what they, the decisions they've made. So they added to meddle with Russia over Ukraine, which isn't even a NATO ally. They decided to send rockets, missiles, and artillery shells, armored personnel uh, carriers, tanks, planes, to take out Russia. These politicians in the, in the U.S. knew they even began, before they even began, that Russia is one of only two countries in the world that can actually wage war upon the U.S. And that, that is true. And these politicians went ahead and did it anyway. Because they don't care. Now, <laughs> remember what a certain someone did back in World War II. Either he was going to take Europe or either he was going to take power of Europe or he was going to destroy it. History has a very bad way of repeating itself when you have not learned from history. This is what's happening right now. Only thing, this is going to be way, way worse because of technology. We are approaching a point where Russia has had quite enough. I've been saying this for weeks now. They're not going to sit back and continue to take what they've been what what the US is dishing out. And this is what's happening. It is in rocket science to see and know that the United States make up 70% of NATO. So if NATO disappears, if NATO disappears, then it necessarily follows that it's because we're here in the U.S. Disappear, quote unquote. Russia is one of only two countries in the world that can actually make that happen. A lot of these U.S. officials seem to think that they will act to ride out the war they caused. Now, like I said, seven days, seven days before this election is coming up. This is starting right now. This is starting right now. Russian nuclear weapons drill simulating a mass nuclear strike across Europe and the U.S. is underway. 
right now. Not getting anything else right now, but that's all I'm that's enough. Putin just said in a statement, Russia must keep its nuclear forces ready. And that's exactly what's happening right now. Expect some more stuff to come out. So I'm gonna link this in the description box and I will be back on later. Thank you.